All right, now in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at some of the most underrated features on Galaxy phones. And these features are going to be very useful in your day-to-day -day life. So keep watching the video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button if you find this video informative. And if you're interested in this wallpaper, it's available on Volvo's application under the category Ocean. Go ahead and check it out. Now let's dive in. The first feature is going to be the 24 megapixel mode on the camera. Now you see by default on Samsung camera application, we just have 12 megapixel 50 megapixel and 200 megapixel cameras now the 50 megapixel and 200 megapixel are going to be taking a lot of memory a lot of storage space when you take images in those modes and when you use the 12 megapixel mode you may not get the desired quality of the image because when you take the images in 12 megapixel mode and crop the images the quality is not going to be that great so for this we need a 24 megapixel option and this option is available on the galaxy phones but not on the stock camera application now you see on the s20 6 series Samsung is expected to provide this 24 megapixel option by default on the camera app but if you want to use it now all you can do is go to the expert raw application you can download expert raw from uh, the galaxy store and here when you tap on the camera modes you will get to see 12 megapixel 24 megapixel 50 and 200 megapixel choose the 24 megapixel mode the images will retain the quality even when you crop them and yet saving a lot of storage space so go ahead and check out the expert raw 24 megapixel mode and apart from that of course this application offers tons of features let's keep that for a separate video the next feature is extra dim now this is the feature which reduces the eye strain when you're using the phone in dark conditions and at the same time it saves tons of battery now you can enable this by going to the settings or you can find this toggle on the quick panel just press and hold on this this is extra dim you can enable this you can also increase or decrease the brightness intensity here on this bar when you reduce it the brightness increases and when you increase the intensity of extra dim the brightness decreases and you have got this option to set the extra dim shortcut you can set it on quick settings or any other option that you want here this is an underrated feature on galaxy phones which everybody should make use of next we have got something called adaptive power saving now this feature is hidden in the settings you can go ahead and enable it go to the settings tap on battery and tap on power saving mode now here under power saving mode tap on this three dot button here on the top right corner you will find adaptive power saving just tap on this and enable adaptive power saving now what this does is this will turn the power saving on and off automatically based on your usage pattern now let's say there is a specific time during the day or night uh, where you don't use your phone much that is when the adaptive power saving will kick in and it will turn on the power saving automatically that is just insane and this is something which you need to go ahead and enable next just go to the settings tap on security and privacy and here scroll down you will find this option more security settings. This is where you will find a very important feature called enhanced data protection. Tap on this. It says protect your cloud data with end to end encryption. This ensures no one can access your data, but you, even if there is a data breach. So this is a very critical feature, which you must go ahead and enable. You have got two toggles here, encrypt backup data, encrypt sync data. You can go ahead and enable both of them. The next feature is AI select. Yes, AI select is available right here on your edge panel and a lot of people tend to miss this feature. They don't even use it. But this is a feature which will be very useful on your Galaxy phone. Just for example, let me show you this. I will activate AI select. Of course, we can also open AI select by pressing and holding the edge panel handle. Now here I will just select this 8.95 GB mentioned. Now you can see it is showing me a converter option right here. I can tap on this to convert the GB to kilobytes, megabytes, terabytes. So that is just an example how this AI select works. You can also select the text on the screen you'll be able to crop an image when you select a specific portion of the screen you will be able to crop that image pin it copy it share it or download it and we can also open photo assist directly from here and we also have additional options like creating gifs set that portion of the screen as wallpaper these are some amazing options that we get on ai select and uh, i think the samsung galaxy phone user should make use of this feature the next most underrated feature on android phone or the galaxy phone is the app archiving what this does is this will archive your existing application to save the space at the same time it will also retain all your login data so the next time you install the application you don't really have to log into the application automatically it will get logged in now for example I've got this Mintra application here which I don't use it more often so what I can do is I can press and hold on this 
tap on this eye icon, scroll down, and here you will see archive option at the bottom. Just tap on archive. It just archived Mintra now. And here we have got the restore option as well. Now let's go to the app tray here. Now you can see Mintra is still available on the phone. However, it is not active. It shows a cloud symbol. We will have to download this application to restore it. Now I'll tap on this. It says restore or cancel. I'll tap on restore. Now the application gets installed on the phone and it will be automatically logged in. That's how the archiving feature works. Next, two finger swipe up for multi-screen or multi-tasking. Now usually for multi-tasking, what we do is we go to the recent application and tap on the app icon and tap on open in split screen view. Or what we also do is we go to the recent press and hold on an application and then drag it to open it in pop-up view or the split screen view. Now instead what you can do is you can go to the settings, tap on advanced features, tap on labs and here you will see swipe up for pop-up view and swipe up for split screen view. Enable them. Now when you just swipe up from the bottom of the screen with two fingers, it will instantly open another window, another split screen to open any application that you want as simple as that. And you can also drag from the top right corner to open the application in a pop-up view. Now this is also an underrated feature on the Galaxy phone which everybody should know. These are some of the features which I wanted to discuss in this video. There are many more features which are underrated. I will probably cover them in part two of this video. So stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and become a part of Apex community to know your phone better. And hit that like button if you find this video useful. And don't forget to download our wallpaper application. And also do rate this application on Play Store a five star. That motivates me to keep coming up with some fantastic wallpaper for you guys so go ahead and do that that's all i have here in today's video thanks a lot for watching you guys take care and stay safe cheers bye bye